Diodes explained in two minutes. The diode is a two-terminal device. This is the positive terminal, called the anode, and this is the negative terminal, called the cathode. The physics of the semiconductor that diode is made from, usually silicon with some impurities, makes it conduct current in one direction only, as can be seen from this arrow-like circuit symbol. If the cathode is at a higher potential than the anode, so if V is negative, the diode does not conduct, and it behaves like an open circuit. It is then said to be reverse biased or cut off. On the other hand, if the anode is at a higher potential, then the diode conducts almost perfectly, as if it were a short circuit. Then it is said to be forward biased or switched on. If we were to look at a graph of current versus voltage, we would get something like this. Almost nothing when V is negative, but once V starts getting positive, the current increases rapidly. From the graph, we can see that the diode is a nonlinear device. In other words, it does not obey Ohm's law like a resistor does. The fact that the diode only allows current to flow in one direction makes it useful for many applications. The most important one is called rectification, which is converting AC to DC. In this circuit, if the voltage source is a pure sinusoid, like this, then the diode will be forward biased during the positive half cycles of the waveform and reverse biased during the negative half cycles. Therefore, current will only reach the resistor during the positive half cycles, when the diode is switched on. The output voltage will therefore look something like this. We can see that a bipolar input is now a unipolar output, an output with a single direction. The diode successfully converted an AC input into a DC output, and this is just one of many applications that the diode plays a fundamental role in.